Hello everyone, today is June 5th. Today, in 1972, United Nations established this day as World Environment Day to increase the awareness for environmental protection. Today I have some new lesson for you guys. But I will start with a question. Look at this beautiful thing. What is this? What do you think what is that? It looks like a tree, right? But it's not really a tree. What do you think? I'll take it in this background. What do you think what is this? Do you know where I found this one? One day I was walking along the beach in Tulum, Mexico. I found this one. It was so beautiful. I said, oh, it's so beautiful. I'll take it home. But I didn't know what is that. When I was leaving the beach, the security guard told me, oh, you know this, what is this? This is a coral. This is a dead coral. Can you believe this one was one day very beautiful coral that we all go to for a snorkeling in the sea? We take, we take advantage of oyster purposes. I mean, like if for and we take, we do a snorkeling, we enjoy the beauty of the nature, we take picture with them, but we don't know that at the same time we are destroying the thing. Do you know what can cause the death of coral, that they call it bleaching of the corals? So all the sunscreens, when we go to the beach in sunny day, we all use the sunscreen cream. So what is this sunscreen? What is the product of this sunscreen? This sunscreen contains two different type of UV filters that blocks the UV radiation of sunlight. One is organic UV filters and one is inorganic UV filters. So in the next slide, I will show you what will happen to this. Here is a beautiful sunscreen, beautiful uh, corals. And we have here ourselves that we put so many, so much of the sunscreen cream. And this is our key that we covered his body or her body with at least 80% of sunscreen when the kid goes to the ocean and comes back again where apply different sunscreens to it to make sure it's completely protected. So, but what will happen to this sunscreen after it gets washed off from your skin? All goes to the nature, to the environment, to the marine, and that will cause the bleaching of the corals. Here we have uh, organic UV filters. So organic UV filters, usually they have some um, benzen, uh, aromat, ben benz benzenic, what, what they call it, they have aromatic structure, the aromatic structure, that when the UV light comes to the molecule, the uh, the organic UV filters, it will break the bones of each molecule and it releases its energy. So it cannot diffuse or penetrate to the skin of humans. So here we have, for example, if we have the UV filter on top of our surface and the UV light comes and breaks the bones of, of each molecule and doesn't let the uh, UV radiation penetrate to the skin. So that way it will protect us. So what will cause that this UV light will damage this one? When we have the green corals, uh, on each coral we have a symbiosis life of uh, zooxanthellae. It's kind of algae that lives in, in mutual uh, collaboration living. They call it symbiosis with the corals, that it uh, provides a, a photosynthetic process for the corals. And so this, you will see the effects of the organic UV filters that what will does to corals. After a few hours, some scientists, they discover after a few hours, uh, the tiny concentration of UV filters, about 33 microliter per liter of very tiny concentration of sunscreen could cause bleaching of uh, hard corals. So here we have the corals in Persian Gulf. Here is a winter time. Uh, here is a winter time and here is a summer time. In winter time, people go more to the uh, coral area because it, the weather is better. The weather is better, people are going more. So we have more bleaching. In summer, it's extremely hot in south of Iran along the Persian Gulf. So yeah, the coral is still green. So the rate is also showing that uh, one observation they have uh, reported about 80% of coral was bleaching in winter time when the people are mostly going to the beach and about 20% uh, less bleaching has been observed during the summer. Uh, another type of non, uh, UV filter that we have in this sunscreen is nanoparticle. What is a nanoparticle? Nanoparticles are the compounds uh, or 
a material or element at nanoscale. Nanoscale means between 1 to 100 nanometers. At nanoscale, material they behave different. So we can harness this behavior to uh, produce a different product, like UV filters. So UV filter that use a nanoparticle to protect people uh, from the UV light, they also cause bleaching of uh, corals. Here you will see, for example, on the surface of the skin of people, we have a layer of inorganic UV filter or nano skin, then the UV light cannot penetrate to the skin, to the body of the people. Here we have the bleached coral in Kish Island in Persian Gulf, Iran. That's very sad to see so many of the corals have been lost. The last report by Department of Environment of Iran reported about 43% of corals have been lost in Kish Island and about 70% has been lost in Qishm Island. This is really sad. This is a tragedy. We cannot bring it back. We cannot allow them anymore. We, they are lost forever. Here shows the impact of inorganic UV filters, the nanoparticles, zinc oxide nanoparticles after 48 hours cause complete bleaching of uh, uh, hard corals. So do we have this type of corals in a Persian Gulf? So we have to be careful if we use a sun skin and be going to the places that is um, covered by beautiful corals. We may cause bleaching of them, we may kill them and we don't have them anymore. And thank you so much for watching me for this uh, lesson for the World Environment Day. Uh, more information you can find in my paper that was published recently in Sustainable Future. Thank you, thank you so much for watching me. You can put your comments below.